Hello, hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is the ambassador coming to you again with a very, very important subject. So at the end of the video, please subscribe. And I thank you for listening and looking at my videos. Okay, the subject is the Antichrist and the Beast 1 and 2. The Antichrist is the man of sin. Uh, he's the false prophet. He will come to do the work of Satan. Uh, Satan will give him powers and he is a very evil man. With great powers he will get from Satan. So the second, he will be on the scene before the second coming of Jesus Christ. So the seven year tribulation is what is going to kick off and present the Antichrist. Okay, um, the Antichrist will come and he will deny everyone uh, their own religious beliefs and um, will want him or them to serve and worship him. So, we want to be true to Christ because we want to make it uh, when Jesus comes for us. And uh, the seventh tribulation, immediately after the seventh tribulation, Jesus will return uh, to the earth with his saints. So, yes, um, he will try to stop everyone from serving the true God, Jesus Christ, uh, and the Father. He will go into the temple and claim and declare he is God and to worship him on Sunday. Well, if you're here during that time, please do not worship the Antichrist on Sunday because that is part of the mark of the beast. So, yes, uh, a lot of people think it's just going to be a mark in the hand and forehead, which that is also part of it. But the other part is worshiping the Antichrist on Sunday. That is a part of the mark of the beast. So yes, all who are weak in the faith may not be able to resist the Antichrist. That's why we have to pray and read our Bibles and fast and keep our minds on the Word of God and on Christ and try to build our faith and our strength in Him. Because we really don't know how strong we are until we get to that point. And hopefully we won't get to that point, but hopefully we will be raptured before the Antichrist comes on to make a horrible, horrific uh, life to live on this earth. So those who have missed the rapture, they need to accept Christ right away. And because they could even get caught up in the plagues. There are going to be plagues on the earth from God as well as what the Antichrist is doing. So yes, um, some or many will be saved during the tribulation. During the time that the 144,000 will be here evangelizing the world. Some will be martyred for their faith and some will make it to the end of the tribulation, but I wouldn't count on that. I would just accept Christ and be done with it because the Bible says absent from the body is to be present with the Lord because we are spirit beings. So some many will be saved during the tribulation, as I said. And uh, so we don't want to be here during that time, the seven year tribulation. Pray that you're not here. Pray that you are worthy. Ask God to make you worthy for the rapture. So some may even make it through the tribulation, like I said. And the Antichrist will do miracles. And a lot of people will believe uh, that he is God. Because he is going into the temple in Jerusalem in the last three and a half years of the seven year tribulation. And he will do miracles and many will believe that he is God. And God will send a strong delusion uh, that will cause those who are not saved 
to believe a lie, believing that he, the Antichrist, is God. Because any, God's wrath is going to be poured out because we have rejected his son. God is God. God is God. Jesus is God. Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords. And we have the nerve not to obey him. We would obey a king if there was a king on the earth that we had to serve. We obey our people on the job, our teachers. We obey a lot of people. And we have the nerve not to obey God who has the keys to heaven and hell. It's foolishness, people. Stop it. So, yes, we, those who have rejected Christ is going to believe a lie. And there have been many guesses as to who the Antichrist is. So, yes, we've guessed, but nobody really knows that. Some may guess it right. So, yes, he is on the earth at this particular time, and he's been here a while. The fact that he knows that he's the Antichrist, I don't believe he does at this point. So, um, then we're coming back with Christ uh, in our glorified bodies in white robes, riding white horses uh, with Christ when he comes back uh, the second time. So, and then there will be the battle of Armageddon and Jesus will speak the word and um, fire will burn up all 200 million man soldiers of the Antichrist. Okay, and... Um, yeah, the Antichrist loses. He loses. He has the nerve to think that he and his 200 million men can kill Christ. So, the man of sin who also denies that Jesus is the Christ, and he denies Jesus, he denies the Father as well. He will enter the temple in Jerusalem and claim to be God. And... Uh, demand that people worship him and um, it's going to be a horrific time something the Bible says that has never been done before on the earth the horrific plagues and all the things that are going to happen so you know that we have a lot of uh, storms and hurricanes and earthquakes and volcanoes and floodings and snowstorms ice storms, hail storms. Yeah, it's going on all over the world. Pay attention, please. Pay attention to what is happening. But the last three and a half years of the seven-year tribulation, he will reign terror on this earth. In the first three and a half years, the Antichrist was going to make everybody believe that he's a great man. He has all the problems solved. He can take care of the whole wide world. And people will believe and believe in him. So he will rain terror on every human being on the face of the earth. And he will control the whole world. And uh, for three and a half years, immediately after the tribulation, Jesus returns with his saints. Yes, we'll be riding white horses with white robes. Coming back to earth to start the thousand year reign. Now the beast is connected to the Antichrist. The beast uh, came up out of the earth. And has powers at his command. So he is the false prophet. He also is known as the second beast. The false prophet is the third party in the unholy trinity of the Antichrist. So, yes, the false prophet is on the scene to force all people to worship the Antichrist. So there will be the Antichrist, the false prophet, and the beast. He has much powers because he and the Antichrist is empowered by Satan. This is Satan wreaking havoc. Which is not even a strong enough word. I don't think we have the right word in the English language to uh, to properly uh, say what this event is. It is horrible. So, <clears throat> excuse me, he has much powers 
and Christ uh, will come back with his people. So scholars are not sure of the masses that will worship the Antichrist. It will be a lot because you won't be able to buy or sell without the Mark of the Beast. And the Mark of the Beast is also worshiping him on Sunday, is which a lot of people don't know. That is part of the Mark of the Beast, worshiping the Antichrist, worshiping him on Sunday, which he will demand. And the other part, I believe, of course, the mark in the hand or the forehead. We cannot take that as well. So yes, uh, people will be mesmerized by this Antichrist because he will be able to do miracles and have been empowered by Satan to do things that uh, he thinks God does and he's going to imitate Jesus Christ and tell people he is God. When he goes into the temple in Jerusalem, he will declare that he is God. Okay, the second beast will rain fire down from heaven. And that people will believe that those miracles are a sign that the Antichrist is God. But we have to stay prayerful. We have to ask God into our hearts to save us. Lord, say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. I know I'm a sinner. Come into my heart. Change my life. Oh God, I believe that you uh, sent your son Jesus and that Jesus died on the cross and raised on the third day. Oh Lord, fill me with your spirit and save me in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you have said that prayer and mean it in your heart, you are saved. Just continue your walk. Read your Bible. Pray daily. We have to stay connected. Ask the Lord to fill you with his spirit. It's all so very important. And so many people out there who are preaching, they don't even get all of this. I don't get everything. But what I say, I know what I'm talking about, whatever I'm saying. But so many people don't believe any of it. And it's just really sad. I mean, why wouldn't you want to? Wouldn't you want to live forever with God? Okay, so the first beast is a ten-horned Seven-headed monstrosity. I hate to even look at it. Also given power by the dragon, the devil. The first beast is symbolic. A symbolic picture of the Antichrist. Yes, people, this is no joke. This is no plaything. We have to be concerned about ourselves and our families. So, yes, um... Yeah, so when all this goes down, it'll be during the tribulation when God pours out his wrath because people have rejected his son who gave his life and who suffered horrifically before dying for, for us. So, yes, pray that God make us worthy for the rapture. The rapture and the resurrection is one and the same. This is so deep that I will have to explain more about the beasts. Another video in another video. We know that the Antichrist walks among us today. He's been here a while. Does he know he is the Antichrist? That I don't believe he does at, at this point. Those who do not worship the Antichrist will be beheaded. Let's all try to make the rapture, the resurrection rapture. That's all one. Let's not wait until it is too late, folks. We have to remain ready to go with Christ at any time. Now, those who are dead in Christ will be raised uh, from the grave. And those who are Christ and remain on the earth and are alive will be caught up to meet him in the air. And the word rapture means to be caught up or to be snatched away from the Latin word rapio, which means to be caught up or snatched away. And the Bible says we will be caught up and snatched away. And that's exactly what the Latin word rapture means in the English language. So let's not wait until it's too late, folks. We have to remain ready. We are the bride of Christ. And we have to be ready when he comes. There will be the marriage supper of the Lamb during the tribulation. And we will get our glorified bodies and really have a big feast. Uh, at the marriage supper. 
So yeah, uh, most think that we are in the rapture zone beginning in May 2019 until May 2020. Now this is what scholars believe, that we are in the zone. We don't know the day or the hour, but we believe we are in the rapture zone. Is what um, they have calculated. So those who do not worship uh, the Antichrist will suffer the wrath of God and uh, those who do who do worship the Antichrist will suffer the wrath of God and those who don't worship the Antichrist will suffer the wrath of the Antichrist. So let's get real people. Let's get with God somebody who's going to keep you for eternity. And the Antichrist and those who do worship the Antichrist will suffer. Prepare our hearts and our minds for what is to come and to be strong when all this comes down.